But here's mm-hmm. one that I think is probably also more than likely very likely. Mm-hmm. What if the TVA has been in the quantum realm this whole time? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good possibility, actually. I mean, it's possible. On the first episode of the, the audio commentary, we mentioned we thought that it was a possibility that Loki could set up Ant-Man. Quantum Mania, just because yeah. of the Kang connection. We thought it was a loose yeah. connection, but after watching the entire series, I think it is very, very clear Loki is setting up the Ant Man. Yeah, that was actually one of my um, notes. <laughs> that they're setting up Ant Man? Yeah. And then Ant Man is going to then set up Fantastic Four? That's a possibility. I we think that's a little bit more likely than I, I feel like. Ant Man setting up Fantastic Four to me makes a little bit more sense yeah. than um, Loki setting up. I agree. Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. I I think it's a it's more of a mm-hmm. like uh this leads to this leads to that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Think, yeah. Loki is I I I still think it's gonna he's gonna bring Kang's gonna come up and then that's gonna set up the Ant Man. Mm-hmm. 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 I agree. I think I think um. I mean, I'm excited to see Fantastic Four at this point. I'm excited to see Kang. Like, I've never been excited to see Kang ever before in life. I'm like, Jesus, I was going for Galactus. But somehow Kang is becoming much more interesting of a character without ever seeing him on uh, screen. Sorry for this, though. <laughs> I know I'm really excited. So I really hope they... they maybe they'll do, like, a... Remember when they set up um, Thanos? Like, it was, like, the end of... Um, whatever movie it was, and they just showed his face. Was it Avengers? Yeah, I can't remember which one he first showed up. I feel like it was before that. I I think it's funny looking at the different Thanos ones because they kept changing his character design. Um, The the purple glowing eyes and everything. But yeah, you know, like they they teased him like at the end of that movie, and then then you're like, oh shit, Thanos is gonna come. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll end it like that. If you want something done, you gotta get it done yourself. <laughs> Pretty much. Then he proceeds to uh, release the the uh, his black army onto mm-hmm. the the earth and all over the the solar system to collect. I'm like, how are you gonna do it yourself? But you didn't do it yourself. <laughs> what is he talking about? Why'd you set that up like that, Thanos? You lied. He lied. <laughs> I love Thanos. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think Thanos is one of my favorite characters. I think he's everyone's favorite, like Big Bat, right our now. Villain, yeah, I gotta. I have to, our my bathroom is like kind of Thanos themed. Oh wow! I gotta send you guys like the fan art I have in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> to our group chat later. <laughs> the Mad Titan bathroom. <laughs> the Mad Toilet. Uh, <laughs> the that here's a crazy sidebar. I remember the Russo brothers and the uh, writers. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it like uh, Marcus and McFeely uh, that wrote uh, Avengers Infinity War? The Russo mm-hmm. brothers came out like way after and said that Thanos was actually the protagonist in their eyes of Avengers Infinity War. The writers came out and said, no, he wasn't. Really? And they, this debate has been going on back and forth ever since. Like every time they go do promo and someone asks them about it, they 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 double down on both sides. That's interesting. <laughs> when I went back and rewatched the Avengers: Infinity War, mm-hmm. with looking at it through the lens of Thanos as the protagonist, Thanos is the protagonist of that movie. The Avengers: Infinity War. Avengers: Infinity War. Okay. I'm gonna rewatch it and do it through that lens. Like we see him more than anybody. We see him at the very start and very end. And we follow him, literally, his journey. Like, we, we kind of feel empathetic towards Thanos a little bit, if you think about it. Obviously, not so much in Avengers yeah. Endgame, but that was a different version. Mm-hmm. But I guess it kind of connects back to this, even when you think of that whole Loki, you know, seeking that glorious purpose movement. Yeah. I think that's Marvel subconsciously telling us all, like, yeah, there is no more Thanos. Like, there's no more glorious purpose villains coming down the pipeline. Everyone else is going to have a deeper self-realized connection. Like, I think Kang even is going to come with a deeper self-realized function. Oh, mm-hmm. I did. 
I think we're about to be very confused. I know. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Polaris Network on YouTube. For exclusive shows and premium content, subscribe to the Polaris Network on Patreon right now.